Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 18 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to use the spell check feature inside of Adobe InDesign. So to check the uh, spell you simply go to um, uh, let's say a type over here. Let's uh, let's search out where the uh, spelling is there. All right, inside of edit you can see spelling right here, and you can see check spelling. So after you're done with the designing, you want to check for spelling errors. Just click uh, check spelling, and it'll actually change to um, uh, see spelling errors. So uh, since mine is a lorem ipsum text, like everything um, uh, has an has an error. So let me just type in a font right there. For example, this is a sentence. All right, so this is a sentence. Uh, in tutor two, all right, and then I'm going to write hi there, all right. So this is the text that I have. Let me zoom in by uh, using Alt and scroll mouse key right here. So I'm going to go into edit and go into spelling and do check spelling. And over here, here you can see that it shows tutor tube as wrong. And since tutor tube is a noun, uh, I want to skip this. So if you skip this, then this will not show any spelling error for now. But uh, if you uh, choose add, then what it does is it adds the text onto the computer's dictionary so that whenever I recheck it, it never shows due to tube as wrong. I want it to be there as it always needs to actually uh, be there in the dictionary. So you can see that it also checks the grammar right here, just like in Microsoft Word. It says that after full stop, the high got to be capital letter. So once I press high and press uh, done, uh, let me just change that out. Let me just go over here. Spelling, text spelling. It shows high, and I'm gonna uh, press change, and you can see that it'll change the text. And once you're done with everything, just press done right here. So you can see that this is how uh, spell checking works. If if you want something uh, even more complex, you can even go over here into spelling and turn on dynamic spelling. So what this does is it actually will check this real time just like in Microsoft Word and you might want to turn, have it uh, turn on. So let's say for example I'm going to say color and color and you can see that the spelling of this color is shown to be right and this color to be wrong actually. So uh, what I want is that I actually uh, this color is um, actually uh, okay in British English and only bad in uh, uh, American English. So this is how British spell color. So, but it says that this color is wrong. So over here at the top, you can see that my language preference is English USA. So if you were to change it to English UK, uh, you can see that the color will go. I have to select the text first and I'm going to select English UK. And now it actually shows this color as wrong as you can see right there. So I can select individual uh, letters right here and press English USA and now you can see that this is set to English UK and this is set to um, uh, English UK USA. So you can see that you have a lot of uh, language spellings. Uh, so these are the languages that uh, InDesign actually understands and you can select each um, each and every one of them um, uh, if you want if you want to spell check with the respective languages and so forth. So this is how uh, checking spelling works inside of InDesign. It is kind of similar to Microsoft Word. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.